On September 8th, 2018, the Ocean Cleanup will launch its first ocean cleanup system into the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Over the past five years, since the Ocean Cleanup was founded, we've done a lot of work to get to this point. On one side, understanding the problem, many reconnaissance missions, expeditions, and on the other hand, doing all the scale model testing and prototyping and calculations to make sure that we can eliminate every risk possible before launching this system. We believe that every risk that we can eliminate in advance, uh, we have been able to eliminate. But that doesn't mean that all risks have been eliminated. Truly the only way to prove that we can rid the oceans of plastic is to actually go out there and deploy a world's first ocean cleanup system. And there are three main risks that we hope to be able to tick off in the coming months. The first one being the behavior of the cleanup system. So does it indeed get propelled by the waves and the winds? Is it able to rotate around fast enough when the direction of the wind and the waves change? Uh, and does it make this nice U-shape that we want so that the system is able to act like Pac-Man? This is something we've been able to, to study a lot with scale models, with, with computer simulations, but I'll still be very relieved when we are able to see this in reality. And um, this is something that we hope to see already during the trials before we reach the garbage patch. So hopefully by September we'll be able to confirm this very fundamental part of the cleanup concept. So the second risk we'll be tackling with our first cleanup system is the interaction between the plastic and the cleanup system. So are we able to efficiently collect the plastic and are we efficiently able to retain the plastic? And to me this is where I think my largest anxiety lies at this point in time. First of all, uh, it's something that we haven't really been able to, to test very well. Uh, we've done scale model tests on it, but these are things that you have to take with a grain of salt. It's very hard to scale the plastic. You have things like surface tension, which uh, will influence your results. So even though the models now predict that we should be able to capture plastic down to you know, around the millimeter range, you know, this is something that uh, we can only truly find out when we deploy a full-scale system in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And the third and final risk that we'll be tackling in the coming months is the survivability of the cleanup system. Now the ocean is a very destructive environment. Uh, you have waves, very high waves, you have wind, you have strong currents, you have uh, the UV light, you have animals nibbling on things, uh, and of course you have the salt, it's a very corrosive environment. So just having something in the ocean, man-made, that's able to survive for long periods of time, uh, that's already quite an achievement. Now, uh, I have a lot of faith in the, in the engineers that have spent tens of years in the offshore oil and gas industry designing you know, these, these massive structures that have survived for a very long period of time. And I also think that we're being helped by having a system that is very uh, simple, so there's not a lot of things that can break. But still, I'll be very happy if the system goes through the first winter without any significant uh, damage. So definitely, I think in April, we'll be uh, happily taking off this final box.